accessing the extras section. My name is Marcus. My name is Connor. My name is Kara. I am one of them. This is our story. I think who Kara is, or how I would describe Kara, depends entirely upon who's playing her, because you have the option to make her multiple different people, depending on the choices she makes. But I think she, she does start out incredibly naive, incredibly innocent, and kind of hapless. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. She's a person who's characterized, I think, by empathy. She's a person who really, she, she just comes from her heart. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Kara! <laughs> Are you okay? Are you hurt? Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Kara, leave her alone! The really beautiful thing that I've, I've had the gift to be able to do is to essentially build a person from the ground up because that's what she's doing throughout the game and with every experience she has and every person she meets she's building you know first emotions and then the sense of judgment and it's sort of an exploration of what it is to be a human don't worry luther and i will be right here david and the creators have painted a really intriguing and engaging picture of a near future uh, where we rely upon androids for a lot of our service class business, our, the, the, uh, the class that serves us, that helps us, that handles our, that is our baristas and our drivers and our housemaids and what is humanity, where we tap into it, how and why we treat each other the way that we do. And um, my character Marcus has a really int intriguing journey, becoming deviant, realizing that he actually has feelings and human qualities inside of him and it's a really incredible ascension into becoming fully realized and coming to terms with what you actually deserve better than this in life and not only do you want it for yourself but you want it for your peers we've come here to demonstrate peacefully and to tell humans that we are also living beings all we want is to live free you know what this thing dad is not your son it's a fucking machine! I think that a group that feels marginalized, feels disenfranchised, feels like they deserve and have earned access to themselves and the environment around them, and are trying to figure out a way to articulate how to freedom. Connor is analytical. Connor takes things literally. He starts in the beginning place where he's very mechanical. Uh, he feels nothing inside, of course, and it's all just a system, a protocol that he is executing to get whatever he wants to happen, which is help humans stop deviants and to find the link between deviant androids. You were designed to serve humans, not kill them. What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it! Stop! But of course, over the course of the story, and depending on the player's choices, Connor can grow in many different ways. He can deviate from that procedure or not. Moment of truth, Hank. Am I a living being? Or just a machine? tired today. I hope you're doing okay.
plastic with you? Only temporary. Hey, hey. How you doing, man? Hey, sick. Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five and the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, he sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Here you go. that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. 
Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor, you run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry, I was making a report to Cyberlife. Huh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED. He under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. This place stinks. Well, our man's gone. Share.
Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper.
can't believe it. This nut job was actually a fee. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Doesn't matter. We know what it looks like. It won't get far. Come on, let's get out of here. Seen enough vegetables for one day. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't programmed to fail. Oh, well, you fucked up, Connor. Welcome to the club. Accessing the extras section.